Hello, everybody. My name is Cameron Roberts. I am the editor of Conference News. And today I'm joined by Kike Onawinde Agoro, who is the CEO and founder of BYP Network. And we're going to chat a little bit about how their conference feeds into the wider network. Kike, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so I guess give me a little bit of context and for those watching a little bit of context, who are you, what is BYP and, and kind of how did we get here? Yeah, sure. So, um, I mean, I'm Kiki Anuende Agoro. Um, I founded BYP Network about six years ago, next month. And so BYP is all about connecting black professionals with each other and corporations. So what we mean by that is we provide our members with opportunities. So whether it's jobs, whether it's content, whether it's understanding about, you know, how to move up the career ladder, um, as well as networking. So for them to connect with one another. Um, and it all started from my own experiences. You know, I just felt like we needed more um, ways for black professionals to connect um, sometimes you might be the only black person in the room and you just wonder you know are there any other black professionals out there so BYP kind of became this platform that everyone can come together they can share you know journeys how to get promoted how to get a new job or whatever it needs to be just so that you know the black community can progress essentially Amazing. So I guess tell me how the conference kind of fits into that, because I know that you do a lot of activity throughout the year online and do smaller meetups and stuff. But I guess the real interest point for our audience will be kind of that central conference point in the annual calendar. Yeah, so just like you said, so we offer mentorship, for example, um, we offer weekly events with all our different partners. And we also have an initiative called BY Peers, which is loads of events in different cities around the world. But the conference ties all of this together. It brings our network together in person. And we're expecting over 600 people at the Mermaid London, um, as well as over 30 sponsors. Um, and those sponsors want to meet our community, essentially. They also want to learn about the Black experience and learn from other Black leaders. Um, and that's what it's about. About, I feel like there's just there isn't enough black leaders essentially or not enough visible black leaders essentially so this conference brings together black leaders on stage for everyone to understand again how do I progress in my career what kind of battles do I face um, we have sessions called the power hour how to be a role model um, and how to learn from failure and successes um, as well as different sessions on how do you stand up for yourself and how do you stand up against government and you know community and things like that so it's a very powerful day where we all learn we network together there's food there's drinks um, and then just a chance to just again meet our partners and our sponsors as well amazing uh, i think you're in a relatively unique position where you maybe have to prep kind of those sponsors for i guess i, I don't know do you have to give them any extra advice from like what you would consider a normal conference because you're kind of catering for maybe an underrepresented group yeah, great question. So in terms of the sponsors, um, they, yeah, they get, we have a whole team, you know, of client services um, team, and they help them with the pitch that they're going to be doing, kind of the session they'll be running, any questions that they have or any concerns. And the main thing is we walk them through it. There's nothing to be worried about. These are human beings just like everybody else. And by sponsoring, it's signaling the fact that you are one, looking for black talent, two, you care about black talent and, you know, the growth opportunities um, and then three the fact that you're putting your you know your name there for this conference is that you also are back in the fact that we need more black leaders um, in the world so we just help them as normal and like I said we've got over 30 sponsors so all of them are really excited and ready for this and this is actually our fourth year of the leadership conference so many of our um, sponsors have, have sponsored before some are new and um, but it's always such a great time and so much learning for everybody that it's really something that you know anyone can come along to Amazing. So, I mean, you talked earlier about it being live. You put a lot of emphasis on the word live, which is good because we all like live. Um, I guess tell me a little bit about how that differentiates the conference from like some of your smaller events or some of the like peerage online. Why is live such an important um, focus for you guys? Yeah, great question. So 2019 was the last time we had the conference in person. Obviously, a lot happened since then in the world. Um, and so those two years, we had it online, essentially, on Hopin, which still works fantastically well. And actually, this year, we had the Careers Fair segment on Hopin the next day. But we're so excited about it being back in person because that ambience, that feeling, you know, the energy in the room can't be replicated online. Um, I remember someone described our 2019 conference as a black Kevin, <laughs> which is such a funny term, but they, you know, they felt so warm and we all feel warm. Um, I remember one of my investors invested more into BYP because he said it just felt like it was their company. 
like the audience like BYP is theirs and and that's essentially what BYP is and so we're excited for it to be back in person because we love meeting our our community our members our sponsors our clients like everybody um and again it's that time to just just learn what can we do from here and um, the conference is part of a series called a decade of proactive change so this is the third year of that series um, and all of it is about how we can ensure that you know the future is different we have like we said more black leaders more black leaders not just not pulling up the ladder as well I think that's something I'd need to put out there because some might say we are seeing some black leaders but are black leaders helping other you know young people get up the ladder and you know excel in their career and that's super important for us and this conference is all about that and how our corporate clients can also help with that journey as well. You mentioned that you're doing a kind of a portion of it online so that does kind of come under the very grey area which is a hybrid event and we could talk yes. for about eight years of what yeah. a hybrid event actually is but I guess how have you from kind of the back end side facilitated having you know a large Kind of network in person but also having value online kind of running simultaneously what's kind of the challenge yeah. been there yeah so this conference is actually um, a hybrid conference and that's because online we get you know thousands of people joining us and whereas in person it's you know it's capped to about 600 people so we didn't want people to miss out this year and so our main stages will be streamed and they can still log in and hop in they can also interact with our corporates in terms of the expo booth um, and then the next day is strictly careers fair and the reason why we separated the two is because what we found is that those that attend the conference are there for content you know they're there to learn to to understand what's going on in the world and you know how to you know do progress in their careers they're not necessarily looking for a job which is fine where some of our corporate sponsors they're there for two reasons they want to add thought leadership but they also want to hire or attract you know black talent so the careers fair on the next day is for them and for anyone that's looking for a role and um, whereas in person it's more kind of branding and engagement they're there to you know let people know their employer of choice and maybe for future opportunities as well to add input so we wanted it to be hybrid um, and it's been such a learning journey to get that to get you know the hybrid together and um, but I have no doubt that it's going to be an incredible day an incredible well two days of conference I think hybrid is still a learning experience for everybody so I don't think you're alone in that um I will just ask because obviously because your conference feeds into a much larger schedule for you I feel like you're quite uniquely placed to kind of track uh, I guess the impact of a two-day event I think we in conferences and in events always try and spout about if you go to this talk you'll get this out of it and it's a business decision or if you meet this person you know you might get progression this such a way but I guess you see that in a much more of a holistic sense. So tell me from your experience, how does kind of this conference impact your wider network going forward and, and with your mission of kind of progressing black excellence? Yeah, so what we found is that the conference is just the pinnacle of BYP network. Um, it's funny, when I first started it, you know, I wanted BYP to be strictly online, no in-person things anymore, let's just go online. But the community love in-person so much. They love meeting each other in, per um, yeah, in, in person, essentially. And what we found with this conference is we get so many testimonials, literally like online, on LinkedIn, I get emails, I get direct messages saying this conference has changed my life. In fact, yesterday I was just at a different summit and I ran into one of our members and they would say, in how they still can't get over our 2019 conference that it really did change his life um, and that isn't I know you hear that but it's not a joke because you don't get these kind of opportunities often there isn't really that many black conferences of you know about career progression and leadership you know backed by other companies so we are in such a great position to to, to provide this to our community um, and we're so reputable as well in terms of you know BYP hosting this kind of conference so people are super excited and we we see the long 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 term impact because these clients they're not just here for the conference a lot of them are here for the year plus um, and our members are you know they go to all our different events in person online and they're just part of the community so yeah we we know it's so important I think if we got rid of the BYP leadership conference we'll get a lot of backlash <laughs> <laughs> well I mean it sounds like the the, uh, highlight of the calendar for a lot of your attendees right and um, we are running up on time but I will ask you one more question and it's a bit of a mean one so sorry uh, I, you're obviously speaking basically directly to the heart of the conferences industry at the moment so if you could ask them to make one change to conferences in general or, or to the industry that they serve what would it be they need more black speakers. Um, there's so many conferences that I see and literally it's just the lacks diversity. 
um and it just put it's off-putting as well and i know that even when you know black attendees attend again it's not even that diverse in terms of attendees so i think conference producers need to do a better job in making um their conferences much more diverse and, and reaching out to different communities to attend um the old ways doesn't really work anymore i think i remember i tweeted about a conference that literally every page you turned it was just white men essentially um so i think yeah di again diversity and inclusion essentially Amazing. I think that's a great message to go out on. Well, Kike, thank you so much for joining me. If you want to learn more about BYP, you can visit byp.network. And if you want to learn more about the conferences industry, you can visit conferencenews.co.uk. But until then, I'll see you all next time.